Paul Baker. Yay! If you have examined your program, you will see a note about our rating the play R for Ribble. The reasons for this will be clear very quickly. But I wanted to give you one last chance, if you're easily offended, to decide maybe this isn't the right play for you. All warnings aside, let me give you a little background. In the Tuscany province of Italy lies a town called Livorno. On a street in Livorno is a bakery run by Polcinella. Polcinella is married to Rosetta, who happens to be a bit um, friendly, shall we say? On either side of the bakery are the homes of the two gentlemen, Tartaglia and Dottore. They both have daughters, and Dottore also has a son. Flower, oh, and love are in the air, as Rosetta makes Polcinella a couple. Again, we hope you enjoy, and if we manage to offend, well, come oh. on. <laughs> I would have nothing to be jealous of if you didn't flaunt yourself all over town. Ha! 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 Oh! <laughs> my friends, my friends, hold! 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 <laughs> Friend Caviello. Friend Caviello. <laughs> I need your help. You must convince Rosetta to behave as a proper wife should, and not go sniffing around after every man in Livorno and Naples, Calabria, and Pompeii. Pompeii? But Pompeii blew up a thousand years ago. She's still hopeful. At least their pillars still stand. <laughs> have no fear, have no fear, friend Baltanella. She will be as faithful to you as Mary, the Magdalene. <laughs> I will leave her in your capable hands. Slam! Come, let us ride together. I yearn for your strong stallion between my thighs. Let me feed on your spurs. There is only one problem. Between us, we can handle anything. I have no horse. Of course, if I had the money. No problem. I will steal some of Polchinella later on. Then you can take me away from all this. I'm so tired of being covered in flour. I'd rather be covered by you. Come back later and you can stoke my heart. Oh. What, what about the kitchen help? One at a time, please. <laughs> I mean, won't they get suspicious? Oh, I know. Come dressed as a grain merchant and no one will suspect a thing. A grain merchant? It worked last week. <laughs> Wife, are you going to continue to be arrogant, or has Coviello laid you straight? Not yet. <laughs> Husband, I am so sorry to be of such trouble to you. Believe me, I have seen the error of my ways. Trust me, there will be no problem on my end. Coviello, such a wise and trustworthy friend to instruct Rosetta in the ways of propriety. Then you are ready to serve me, as a wife should serve her. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure I, I better get back to the kitchen. I'm sure that I left something rising. But there's something rising here. <laughs> so, Coviello is going to cuckle me dressed as a grain merchant act. I'm sure I can find a way to grind his seat. Ow. <laughs> oh, Celia. Ribbit. I so long for your presence. Our souls commune, our hands entwine, and my lips caress your... No! 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 Must concentrate. Must remain pure. Must rub these thoughts out. Rub. No! 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 
must think of, of the Bible. Yes, the Bible. Ah, Son of Solomon, yes. <laughs> By navel. He's like a round gullet with lots not liquor. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like rows which are twins. No, no, no. Wrong parts. Wrong part. Wrong book. <laughs> and how long have you been standing there? Long enough. Good, perhaps you can help. I am not in a fit state to approach my lady's door. Are you afraid that your hand will not be the first thing to knock? I am in such a state that I may lose the strength of my conviction. <sighs> Trust me, it only gets worse as you get older, lad. <laughs> Perhaps you can approach your door and have her open her chambers to me? Oh, do you believe the nerve of this young man? I, it's bad enough that my wife is going after every man in Lombardo. Though I do want her to be happy, and it is true that there have been certain personal problems between us, but, but not with her going after every man! Although, you know, they do make her happy, and, well, with the kitchen boys, but no, it's, it's bad enough that my wife has made me a cockle, but now this young cock wants to make me into a pimp! Ah! And in conclusion, a fiery salamander living in the stomach is the primary cause of wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that your excuse? But don't interrupt me. Uh, anyway, as I was saying ten minutes ago... That was just t t t ten minutes? Don't interrupt me! Now, you have a uh, fruit of your loins, do you not, of a uh, feminine persuasion? I have a dog. I have a da, a da, daughter, if that's what you mean. My son, he is of an age where he needs to marry and establish himself in society. The addition of your daughter to my household would be beneficial to both of us. That is an excellent idea. Oh, then we are agreed. Well, <laughs> we may be in agreement, but uh, my daughter may not. So, spare the rod and spoil the fish. She's a filly, not a filet. <laughs> oh, be that as it may. You indulge her far too much. Her daughter should obey her father as well as love him. If she were my daughter, she would be a member of my family. Therefore, she would obey as is her filial duty. Philly, wait, well, wait a second. Now she's a horse? It's merely a matter of you exercising your parental authority. Excellent idea. Now, if uh, we are in agreement, then our voices should be likewise. And if our voices are as one, then it is meet that you should brave the harpy. <coughs> I mean, uh, talk to my daughter. What? You're going to talk to my daughter! Oh, I'm going to talk to your daughter. About what? <laughs> the sack, the sack, 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 sacrificial union. Oh, sacramental, sacramental union. <laughs> oh, I'll talk to her about marrying my son. Daughter of Tartaglia, it has come to my attention that you are fractious and in need of a strong hand to govern. Are the one to do it? <laughs> Clearly, your humors are out of balance. Perhaps your window is misaligned. The dry north wind is of an agitating nature. Let me counsel you on the virtues of an obedient child. A child should be <laughs> pious, humble, reserved, silent, chaste, and above all, <laughs> obedient. Truly, you've shown me the error of your ways. <laughs> Never have I heard words more true or more suited to a daughter of Laborno. Be assured that I shall model my behavior accordingly. I am afraid to marry for you. Will you not accept the man I have chosen? Signor Doctor, I'd be happy to accept any husband of your choosing. Will you be kind enough to accept the payment for the match you've arranged? She has really huge ass, ass, ass. Assets? No! Dowry! Oh, <laughs> of course, my dear. I would be happy to accept any payment you have for me. I hope so. <laughs> oh.
How dare you presume to choose my future husband? If your ability as a matchmaker is a reflection on your skill as a doctor, then your patients had better start picking out their tombstones!
it in quotes. I thought, and, 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 you should talk. <laughs> Money? <laughs> Rosetta? Isn't Rosetta beneath you? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, if, if only she would. Wow. <laughs> Say no more. I shall take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Copiello, you're up, Tanner. I need to procure your services. Uh, the Tory, uh, what? I need you. I need you to do. I need you to do a job for me. Oh, oh, what a surprise! I want you to get me Rosetta. Uh, isn't she beneath you? That is precisely the position I wish her to be in. Oh, that'll be no problem. Um, I will take care of this. Oh. I think it's about time that I called on Rosetta myself. <laughs> and her toenails are like the purest ivory found on the feet of dainty elements. <laughs> White finished? <laughs> I can start over. <laughs> the pathetic patterns of paramours at play pervert the pulsating heart purple. Even prime prettiness is not worth plunging into greedy vessel pugilism or passive pining. It's <laughs> pure out, purely pressing into puke. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
an explanation for that disgraceful display earlier. <coughs> what display, Daddy? The business of you two fighting in the street. We were merely having a discussion, girl talk. If two gentlemen had a discussion of that nature, they would be arrested. But Daddy, we are simply excited. <laughs> what in the world could have provoked you in such a manner? Well, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but it was a boy. Who? Silvio. He made my heart beat with a passion like no other has before. <coughs> his eyes, his hair, his lips, his form. He spoke to me of love. Very well, daughter. You may return to your needlework. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. Now you may retire. My little flower has blossomed. She has discovered love. Verily, love is in the air. <laughs> For I, too, am in love. Ah, uh, friend Tartaglia, I find myself... I find that I too may be in love, but I may have taken or taken too much asparagus. I find my harbor is inflamed. I find myself in love with the most beautiful woman in Livorno. Oh, that cannot be, for the woman I love is the most beautiful in all of Livorno. Ha! The woman I love, her hair is the color of flaxen wheat. The woman I love has skin as white as freshly milled flour. Her eyes are as brown as crust, straight from the oven. Her bo 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 bosom <laughs> is as firm as freshly risen dough. Rosanna! You stuttering buffoon! How dare you suck from another man's spoon! The baker's wife was my first you! <laughs> Papa's blowhard! Oh, wait a minute, insults. Oh, it's insults. <laughs> oh, go! Just might work. Well, back to the grind. <laughs> <laughs> 
Friend Coviello, might I inquire what you have done on my behalf? Um, I, I was just speaking with her. She said that uh, you should come to see her tonight disguised as a rain merchant. Excellent idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, um, would you happen to know where I can obtain a grain merchant's garb? Um, why, I happen to have such right, uh, 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 here. Excellent, thank you. Oh, that idiot makes it easy. While he's being beaten dressed as a grain merchant, I'll sneak in and see Rosetta myself. I like it. <laughs> Coviello, my boon companion. Uh, what have you done on my behalf with Rosetta? Um, uh, nothing yet. Um, but I'll go speak to her. And as a favor for me, would you please stand right, um, 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 here. Friend Tartaglia, I had no idea that you fancied me. Of course I reciprocate. There's just one mental problem. Uh, and that is? My husband, you silver-tongued devil. If you would sleep with me, uh -huh. then dress yourself up as a miller and tell my husband you have some flowers to sell him. Tell him it's warehoused outside of town and he needs to go with you to check it out. Then, once he's outside of town, you can lock him up in the warehouse and come back here and we can have a fine time. Uh, so much do I want you that I will f f f f follow your instructions to the letter. such a person a, uh, um... Oh, excuse me, my moment, I don't use this very often. <laughs> Sack of bread? How dare you, you, you... Tradesman? <laughs> I am no common street thug. <laughs> to return it. In fact, I believe I'll sh I shall tell her so right now. <whistles> I have never seen a man run that fast. How dare he think he'd hire me, <laughs> the son of a gentleman, to do his dirty work. 
my truest friend below my love's window? <laughs> Sylvia, stand away from there if you value your life. I will not kill for Baker's money, but I will kill for love. <laughs> <laughs> what are you accusing me of? I'm not in love with anyone, especially that bold-faced slatter. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you dare call my love a slatter? <laughs> Defend yourself. Bushel, gram, no, flower bushel, <laughs> gram, flower bushel. <laughs> 
Flour, I got flour. You want flour? Oh, you must be a um, grain merchant. Mr. <laughs> Miller, I forget. I'm a flour merchant. Flour merchant, right? I got I flour. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so you have plenty of flour to sell me. Yes, it's it's not here though. It's it's out of town. Out of town. <laughs> that would be the warehouse, um, the abandoned warehouse that's about. Uh, yeah, so it locks that way. The exactly. one where I was locked up in for hours last week. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just need to go get some money, and we'll uh, we'll get you over there. Oh my God, I cannot believe this is working. He's buying it. I'm gonna I get to sleep with his wife, and he's not gonna catch the fact that he's gonna be a cuckold. Oh, tweet tweet. <laughs> well, um, that was, certainly sounds like an excellent idea. So. I will go get some money. You stand right here. Well, this is an odd sense of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my aching colon! I will have to abstain from cabbages for a month to realign my humors. <laughs> ha! Oh! That here looks familiar. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be a grain merchant, would you? Uh... No! No! I am a miller! I know nothing of grain! <laughs> Beard looks familiar. What would make you say that? Please! Don't tell! Don't tell! Don't tell! If you just keep quiet, we can both enjoy Rosetta! Just keep quiet! Oh God, we are so dead! <laughs> both enjoy Rosetta? At the same time? Well, <laughs> uh, it's the latest technique from uh, Nippa 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 <laughs> Naples. <laughs> Tell you what, if this enterprise is to succeed, give me the disguise. I'll take Culture Knowledge to the cottage and lock him in. You stay with Rosetta and I will return. Oh, hmm. oh. That sounds like an excellent idea. I couldn't have said it any book, any book. Any book, any book. At all? <laughs> 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 Was he shorter earlier? <laughs> 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 Senior Miller, how much flour do you have for sale? Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> five what? Um, uh, feet. <laughs> no, my bread already has shoots. <laughs> yeah, that often happens. <laughs> well, it certainly does around here! Yeah. So, um, are you sure you don't mean bushels? Bushels? <laughs> or pecks? My desire is certainly to peck a bushel. <laughs> <laughs> well then, how much do you want for a uh, bushel of flour? Three scooties. Three scooties? For flour of this quality? <coughs> Why, that is highway robbery! Fourteen at least! Well, fourteen is good. Uh, Fifteen would be better. <coughs> Why be stingy? Let us say twenty. Ooh, done! What a shrewd negotiator I am. Boys? <laughs> Boys, pay the man. Twenty. <laughs> With a bonus for prompt delivery. <laughs> oh my head, my back. Oh, at least my colon doesn't hurt more. <laughs> what was all that commotion? I noticed some noise. I noticed some pain. <laughs> Lend me your hand, Tartalian. Presently, I will explain. I was thinking of doing something shorter, like sitting through court. I have been handled, I have 
Would that I had a son like you. Ah, yeah. but the solution is obvious. I shall marry your daughter, Celia, and you shall marry my daughter, Isabel. Mm -hmm. yeah. not inform our daughters until the marriage contracts have been drawn up. Uh, I'm afraid your uh, uh, mother may be quite wroth with me. <laughs> In the last hour, my wife has tried to deceive me at least five times. I will kill that unfaithful harlot. With this hand, I will cattle her like a dog! <coughs> but with this hand, I love her. <laughs> I am torn between the two hands. Would that I had a third to make a decision. <laughs> bah! <laughs> I haven't been able to find Silvio or Tartaglia. I haven't been able to resolve the situation with the girls. And I still haven't been able to see Rosetta yet. Call the yellow. Oh, that's one problem solved. Hold your nose, that flower sack has found out the trick with the miller. Well, what do you suggest? I can kill that misshapen troll. Oh, let me guess. You tried that last season. No, actually, I've never been that desperate. But I am now. Well, stabbing's out. Yeah, it's too messy. Um, drowning's no good. Uh, it's too slow. Could try poison. This is Italy, after all. <laughs> oh, um, I know. We'll say that it's a special bottle of wine sent to him by his kinsman from the country. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll go buy that bottle of wine. <laughs> I know how to change her mind. Pardon me a moment. You have no idea how much effort that takes these days. Wife, I feel unwell. I have a huge swelling. No, not that. <laughs> oh, really? After all these years? Perhaps you can help me soothe it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to say anything, but what about my poetry? Uh, I've heard your poetry. You are the strong, silent type. Hi, <laughs> uh, you've been looking for me. Um, why, um, yes, your uh, your dear friend Orazio is is he's lying sick in bed. His dying wish before the icy finger of death strikes him down, is to see you. Look, he was fine, no scratch on him five minutes ago after a fight. Uh, he, he's had a relapse. <coughs> oh, are you sure he's well enough to receive visitors? Um, well, let me check. Um, Isabella, Isabella. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are, uh, are things such at your place that you're able to receive visitors? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Much better now, wife. I, too, husband. You know, my stocks are depleted. I know. No, I mean I must get more flour. And pictures! 
Don't forget the oysters. <laughs> uh, yes. <sighs> now, wife, while I'm away, mind your reputation. <laughs> Husband, you should know that I would rather die a thousand deaths than to disgrace my name. Oh, little deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Pulcinella the baker? Why, yes. Tell me, are you the miller, the grain merchant, <laughs> or are you just bred with a beard? Um, uh, why no, I am a messenger sent with a fine bottle of wine from your, uh, from your kinsman in the country. Really? <laughs> Looks like a fine vintage. That was a good week. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Before you kill me, please let me write one last letter to my next of kin. I will write that letter myself. To whom should I address it? Oh, to my dear sweet mother, Faritia Citrullo of Acera. Did you say Faritia Citrullo of Acera? Yes, I said Faritia Citrullo of Acera. You're about to kill me. Why would I lie? <laughs> Did you have a brother? Yes, a long time ago. <coughs> and but he was captured, he was kidnapped by gypsies. <laughs> How original. <laughs> his name was Pulcinella Citrullo. Why, I am Pulcinella Citrullo. That makes me oh, your brother. It does? Is there a uh, family resemblance? Oh, well, actually, uh, I'm the uh, bigger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
get them out of the house. <laughs> I'll change the names on the marriage contracts. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Tell me, what do you do for a profession? I'm a true, true, true trial lawyer. <laughs> 